She... <laughs> she just wants to run away. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. You don't have to do what you don't want to do. You can hide in my shot glass collection. You can do that if you want. Have you ever seen fruit that looks like this? If you have, you're probably from an alien planet or you live in Asia. Most of these fruits my Western friends have never seen in their life. It's very bizarre looking, but I guarantee you it is delicious. The fruit here in Taiwan is some of the best fruit I've ever had in my life. It tastes like candy, so I wanted to share some of it with you guys today and also share it with my pet because my pet can eat almost anything. Okay guys, so as you can see, Ellie is pretty restless. Actually, she's kind of calming down. <laughs> she has some of my hair stuck to her. But I wanted to hold her while I introduce you to these bizarre fruits. So let's introduce you to these bizarre fruits. I have first one of the weirdest looking fruits. What do you think about this, Ellie? Does this smell good to you? She's not having it. She just woke up, so she's a little bit like cranky. But um, this is called dragon fruit, and I'm about to show you the inside, but it it is really, really strange. I mean, um, I don't know what else to equate it to. It kind of reminds me of like watermelon type texture. It's not very sweet, but it goes great in smoothies. These are lychee. I actually have a bunch of lychee in the corner there. I can show you how much I have. I bought so many. Um, but this is definitely my favorite fruit here in Taiwan and just in general because it tastes so remarkably sweet. It's like candy. So let's see if uh, she likes the smell of it. You smell it, Ellie? Ooh, look at her. She likes it. She's perking up a little bit. Wow. Oh my gosh, she's... Let's get this, let's get this. She's gonna lick it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna lick it. Oh, she's licking it, dude! She likes it! Do you like it, Ellie? Wow! I think this might be her favorite, too! We have that in common. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I must have poked her a little bit. It's okay. I know, she doesn't like the lights, so she's usually like this. I mean, that's a hedgehog behavior. They're usually in their shell, and that's fine. But let's let her, maybe she will annoy herself with it. Wow, she really likes it. Wow, she's licking it, she's licking it. She's loving these new smells, you know? She's very curious. Ooh, does that smell good? Does that smell good? We're gonna try some later, okay? Okay? Hmm. I think this is bell fruit, but the lady at the night market called it wax apple, so I will put a picture of what it looks like up here in case you're wondering what it looks like when it's not cut up, but I prefer to get it from the night mar market because at the night market they cut it up and they select the best ones to give you. So it's typically ripe and delicious and just ready to eat right there. So let's see what she thinks about this. Do you like, oh, look at her. She, wow, look at her. I'm of course gonna cut this up for her later if she wants bite-sized pieces. Um, but I'm just gonna let her smell it for now. And she's licking it. I always try to encourage her to be curious and be open about our environment and just explore new things because that makes life more interesting, right? Um, yeah, but she, as you can see, her quills are still up because she just woke up, so she's kind of like, what's going on? So I'll just let her smell it. She's not like gonna like it. It's not like her to typically eat in front of me. She prefers to eat in the dark once I have the lights off and everything. Um, so I don't know if she's gonna eat any of these fruits, but if she does, that will be cool. If she doesn't, that'll be cool too. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this separately in the pile of stuff that she's licked. <laughs> um, Cause I definitely don't wanna lick the same thing she's licked, so I, I don't wanna get salmonella or anything. Um, this, I don't know if you recognize this, this is a mango. 
And the only reason I'm telling you that is because I showed this to my mom when I was Skyping her the other night, and she didn't believe me. She was like, that's not a, ma that's not a mango, it's like the size of your head. It's crazy, and it's not ripe, it's yellow. But it is ripe, it's perfectly ready to eat, and this is like probably my second favorite food to eat, or second favorite fruit to eat here in Taiwan, because it's so delicious. The mangoes here are the best I've ever had. So let's let you sniff this a little bit before I cut it up. Ooh, she is like really happy right now. Wow, I think she's gonna like mango, which is cool because I like mango too. Yeah, it's a new smell. You love new smells, don't you, girl? Mwah. Don't kiss hedgehogs, don't do that, but I do. Okay guys, so I got some different fruits that I've cut up and I'm going to go ahead and give them a try. Let's start with this massive mango. I'm just gonna, I guess, scoop up a piece. Wow, it's very tender. It just kind of fell off, so. Bon appetit. Let's see, is she gonna eat it? Are you gonna eat it? Yum, yum, yum in my tum. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and eat my favorite fruit. This is what a lychee looks like on the inside. I told you it looks like straight up candy and it tastes like candy too. You gotta be careful though, because there is a nut in the center, so don't just bite right into it, you know? Kinda bite around the nut. Okay, so the mango didn't work. Mm, let's try the lychee. Do you like the lychee? Do you like the lychee, Ellie? Do you like the lychee? <laughs> So next, I'm gonna try this wax apple. It's a little bit stained with my very, very purple dragon fruit, but I'm gonna take a bite. This is so good. Okay, let's try the, let's try the wax apple. <laughs> Do you like that one? You do seem to be sniffing around. You do seem to be sm oh, what you are you eating something? Are you eating something? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> so last but not least, I'm gonna try this alien like dragon heart looking thing. I prefer the purple dragon fruit, so I'm really glad that I ended up with purple because I can never tell if it's gonna be purple or white. There's white dragon fruit, but like, I think the purple one tastes a lot better. Wow, you know, I had dragon fruit in the States, but I like it so much more here. It's a lot sweeter. How about some dragon fruit? How about some dragon fruit? Let's look at the dragon fruit. Look at this, Allie. You got got some good got some good dragon fruit. No, 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 not in there. Look, look, it's some dragon fruit. <gasps> she licked it. She licked it. Ooh, she likes it. She likes it. Ooh, she's anointing herself. Oh my god. Look, <laughs> she's anointing herself. That's weird. That's very weird. Don't escape. Don't escape. So, this experiment didn't go as smoothly as I planned. 
Ellie is more comfortable eating in the dark. I put all of these fruits in her cage before I went to sleep and she seemed to enjoy eating all of them in private. But there is one food that is candy to a hedgehog. One food a hedgehog cannot resist. Live worms. Ooh, you smell the worms? Yeah, you smell the worms? We're gonna feed you the worms. Ooh. There's a worm. You smell the worm? Ooh, she liked it. Wow. She's darting away. <laughs> it was good, right? It was good, huh, Ellie? <laughs> She's so happy. She's so happy. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to film more videos with Ellie in the future. I should go.